God has showed him the truth. God has showed him the one true way. God made it clear at the new day song. And so uh, he was there. And he said, hung on the altar. I get everybody was gone. And so the brother and I went there and went back in his office at his business. He said, I know this guy. I know this guy. And this is what I really want. But if I make the decision, my wife will walk up from me. And I'm going to have to give up my business. And this is the truth. Well, and I appreciate it. I know what you're preaching is right. And God didn't deal with me. But I, I'm just not in position to do this. And that was his day. That was his day. And you know what happened? He gave it up, compromised with his wife, and fearing what loss he might sustain in his business. And about a month later, he lost his business and his wife. And, and his salvation. All of it. Today, God talking. Well, yes, he is too. You're not going to leave him confused and 
and be fertile unless you choose me. I don't care how long we've been saved or claiming salvation. Some of you have never come to this cross. But you will today. You mark it. You'll know there's a thousand years from today. You will today. Come on with it. Come on with it. And he said, take now thy son. Take now thy son. Thy only that, son Isaac. Now follow this scenario here. That what? Thine only son Isaac. Thy only son Isaac. Whom thou lovest. Listen, if I got a camera, I mean, you take your only son, you little baby. Baby, what are you doing? You put your foot up, listen, you're different like this. Wait a minute. That's, you know, that's how he loved you. You know, his whole life is wrapped up in this his son. And Lord, you hear me? And you're going to listen to this. You're going to just tantalize him here and just say, your only son, you're the son you love. My Lord. That means more than anything in, 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 in life to you. I know that. You listen to me, do you rather, you rather sacrifice yourself or say anybody else than him? Your son of promise. The one who you delighted, who you look forward to seeing with eager anticipation. Your only son. Let me tell you something, you're going to be brought to that point yeah. where God is going to, well, you have to do that to test your consecration. That's what consecration is all about. Lord, there's nothing that's too dear to me, that I'm so enthralled in, that I'm, I'm so uh, involved in, that I will not drop like a hot potato. That's like, right. yeah. I don't, they don't need digging down there and trying to find it. I didn't mean nothing. Yeah. There's no predicament. That I would not, uh, uh, that I would not gladly submit to for your cause. Do you understand? Some people hold on to attitude for years. Hold on to malice and all this, and then, all this kind of uh, sucking things and this and sucking things and that, and trying to go around this and go around this, and they leave this on their agenda. And that's why many people never been successful all these years. They never went far enough. They never completed their consecration. Maybe in theory, but not in actuality. Their faith never was really intact. And they never got no results. They thought they could half step and maybe and get to get up, maybe some of the dripping. No, you will get anything. God's gonna, God's gonna have to try them. He'll have to. And the children of Israel, he took them through the wilderness 40 long years right. to try them and to see what was in their heart. Well, Lord, why did it take so long? Well, it took me that long to get around to that main thing. I tried this, I tried that, but see, but, yeah, but that, the, the, the circumstance had to be right. And the stage had to be set for me. There's something I wanted to touch, and, and it's just now exposed itself. And I, then I'll know what they're all about. It might, it might, some of y'all might be around 25 or 35, even 40 years, and you never come to that point yet, but you might today. Come on with it, come on with it. Take now thy son. Now, go on. Thine only son Isaac. Thine only son Isaac. Whom thou lovest. Whom thou lovest. And get thee into the land of Moriah. Okay, okay. I can't. I can't. I want to get saved with my, my boy, her friend. He's so nice. He bought me some, some chocolate covered marshmallows and uh, <laughs> two tall roses, whatever. And, and, a, and a Valentine with pecans in it. Come on with it. And offer him there for a burnt offering. Look, this is Lord, this is in totally humane, even to to suggest this. I mean, call him for a sacrifice, but you gave me the miraculous sign. You don't always understand the operation of God. Because they jump, they say how high. Don't try to give me an explanation right now. Don't 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 try to give me an explanation. No, God not explain anything to you. He just tell you what to do. And some people you do it or not. You got to keep up. Why come? No, you don't have to go into all that. I'm not even doing explain it. You do it because I said it. That's, that's reason enough. That's reason enough because God said it. Right. That you say it. How come? What about it? Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do this? Because God said it. Right. And he doesn't have to say it specifically. He doesn't have to say it specifically. In the scripture.